Hi guys, welcome to KT Camping. I'm Ken. And I'm Tammy. And this weekend, we are headed to Sampar State Park. Come along for the ride. We just arrived at Sam Park State Park, and this is our site, it's Site 8. It's a very big site, it's the first time we've ever been here, but the site just goes on forever it seems like. The sites all have picnic tables and fire pits, but we found out there's a no fire, uh, no burning thing going on right now, which it is very dry, so we won't be burning any fires this weekend. Pretty neat site though. Well, we can't have a fire, so we got the Traeger out and we're having what they call a hobo. Um, it's beef, sliced potatoes, green beans, corn, and peas, I believe, are all in that. And you wrap it in foil. I'll show it to you. four of them right there. You wrap them in foil and then you heat them up and cook it all up. And see, We'll see how that turns out. So, I bet it'll be good. I'm hungrier than a horse. This is a shot of the Sampar Lake at Sampar State Park. Here's Kent doing our morning bacon. This is our last bacon of the month. What kind is it? Rose? I really don't know. I think it's rosemary something. Rosemary lemon. So now we'll have to wait for Christmas again. I know, that's going to come a stink. <laughs> Kids, I want this for Christmas. Bacon <laughs> of the month. Perfect. Get me a whole year if you want to. I know it's expensive, but go ahead. Yeah, you're worth it, right? I, I know. <laughs> I hear geese. It's a little chilly this morning, 44 degrees. And there's uh, no fire, a fire ban this weekend because it's so dry here in Illinois, which is kind of sad because this is the perfect temperature for a, for a fire and a cup of coffee or hot chocolate or hot tea, whatever you like. But and we can't have it, so he's... He used the Traeger last night to fix our supper. It was delicious. I'm probably going to go into a deep state of depression now. My Bacon of the Month Club is totally gone. <laughs> yeah. okay. Our friends Wade and Paula went on a different camping trip and they found some geodes, which this is a geode. We had never been involved with any of that, so they're going to let us help them crack them. So it's going to be a fun day, I think. And here is the tool that we're going to use to crack them with. And what it is, is a sewer pipe cutter to cut cast iron. And it's on a uh, sawhorse, which it's not set up quite yet. But uh, we'll hopefully have some video of us cracking the geodes and all that good stuff. And uh, it's going to be fun. We're looking forward to it. I have no idea what he's doing, but he said he's cracking a geo. Geode. I don't even know what a geode is. What's a geode, Paula? It's this rock right here. <laughs> it has crystals inside of it. A rock with crystals inside of it. Not yet. There it went. Woo! That's solid. Oh, oh, oh. 
Getting ready to crack a geo. No, you do it. No, you do it. Okay, I'll do it. So and easy. My first geo pop. All right, Ken. You get to do the reveal. Are you ready? Yeah. Ooh, that was oh, cool. it's a good one. That's beautiful. Look at that baby. <laughs> that is gorgeous. Very fun. That baby is a diamond whatever. These babies are this is valuable. It's like the most valuable one I've ever seen. Of course. <laughs> they dared me to taste this thing. Oh, uh, you're weird. <laughs> Tastes like much anything. <laughs> I've been with Wade and Paula this weekend and they told me that if you found one of these geodes with water in it, that would make you younger if you drink the water. So I told them if I would drink the water and I'd probably feel 10 to 20 years younger the next morning. So I'm, we found one that had water in it, so I'm going to drink it and then um, we'll see if it works. I don't know if it will or not, but you know, I've got the guts to drink it and nobody else does. So. Here goes nothing. <laughs> nothing ready? Water, matter Are you water. Ready? Yeah. Oh, gross. Ah. <laughs> Man, that was good. <laughs> I'm feeling like two days younger already. <laughs> that was awesome. Oh, I ought to show you the inside of my geo while we're looking. It's kind of wet, but it's like awesome. It is pretty. I think she told me that. Uh, there might be a diamond teardrop in there, but see, it's right there. Okay. Not, not really. I'm making that up. I have no clue. I don't even know what a diamond teardrop inside of one of these things would ever look like. And they kind of told me it probably doesn't have one in it. So anyway. But they said you could keep that one since you drank the water. Yeah. Since I drank the water, they let me keep it. Of course, they've got 10,000 of these things, so <laughs> they probably won't even miss this one. We'll put it in our motorhome. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. As a souvenir. Yep. But there you go. This weekend we're at Sam Parr State Park. It's about three miles north of Newton, Illinois. Um, years ago, in probably the 50s, the residents of Jasper County decided they would like to have a state park in their area. So Sam Parr, who was a former resident and a conservationist in the area, decided that he would try to help them out. The original acquisition was 72 acres and um, they got that and the first park was was born um, in 1972 after additional acquisitions they now had um, 1180 acres and a lake that was 183 acres in 72 they named the park after him so it is now called sam Parr state park there's camping area for um, campers and motorhomes and then there's a separate tent area I'm not sure how many sites are in each area, but the tent area is completely in a different location of the campers, and every tent is in full view of the lake. It just looked like a really neat area. Um, the campsites are great. They are, most of them are concrete pads. They are, 10 of them are reservable, and all of them are 50 amp. I think most of the campsites are actually the 50 amp, but I'm not positive of that either. There is boating on the lake. It has to be a 10 horsepower or less boat. There were a lot of fishermen. There's a small boat dock here close to the campground. And then there's a larger boat dock over by the dam. 
There's 2.3 miles of a walking trail that we did take. We had a little trouble finding the start of the trail. We couldn't find any signs that told us this was the beginning. But once we got on the trail, it was very well marked. They had little arrows everywhere telling us which way to go. And it was a wonderful trail. Very easy walking, beautiful. You were by the lake, through the woods. It was just a great, great walk yesterday. There are several picnic shelters in the area if you just want to come out for some day use. That uh, A lot of those look over the, the um, lake. There's playgrounds near those. There's playgrounds in the campgrounds. It was, it's just a really fun park for families. This weekend it was dry here in Illinois, so there was a fire ban. Um, the weather's very dry. It was very windy yesterday with uh, some wind gusts. So therefore we couldn't have any fires this weekend, even though the temperatures would have been perfect for it. But other than that, it was a wonderful weekend. If you'd like more information on state parks that we've been going to, you could go to stateparks.com or reserveamerica.com. That's where I get a lot of my information and that's how we book our sites before we come camping. So um, both of those websites are great places to look if you're trying to decide where to spend the day or where to go camping. We hope you have a great weekend um, and happy camping. Thanks for watching our video on Sampar State Park. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe and hit the notification bell so you can be notified of upcoming videos. Once again, thanks and have fun camping.